Welcome back to the channel. This your boy Black Sand, and we back with another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, thank you for uh, tuning in today. Today we're gonna be talking about the evolution of the Red Ribbon Army. This is part one. We might be dropping a part two, but um, we gonna just dive into. So we first learned about the Red Ribbon Army, right? We see that Red Ribbon Army is known across the world. It's one of these military type, uh, paramilitary type, uh, kind of like mob ran like kind of like organizations, right? But they ran by this dude named Commander Red, right? And we see that Commander Red, like you know, he been having problems with, uh, you know, he he started he started he started young whenever he was uh. He was like basically like one of the co-founders of the Red Ribbon Army, along with uh, Giroux, Dr. Giroux, and another doctor as well. But we see that uh, he starts to get into the picture whenever he wants to get the Dragon Balls, right? And he runs into uh, he runs into Goku. And what happens is when he runs into Goku, you know, he 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 having to send his goons out. First of all, he's sending his, his General Blue out, right? So that's his actual general to his actual army, right? So he, he sent General Blue out to get the job done. Actually, the kid Goku in to retrieve a Dragon Radar that he had seen Goku with, right? And he's trying to get these Dragon Balls for an odd reason. We'll get into that later, but we see that he, 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 he sees that General Blue can't get the job done. So what this guy does is basically he, you know, well, he gives, he gives, he, he, he's very ruthless. Like, so he, he really wanted to kill him. Uh, General Blue, when he seen that he didn't uh, get the job done, but instead what he does is he tell him, all right, well, I'm finna hire this this assassin, uh, this assassin named Mercenary Tile, right? And you can spar with him. If you win, then you can keep your life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if you lose, you gonna die. You know what I'm saying? So he spars with Mercenary Tower and Mercenary Tower actually kills him um, with his tongue. It's, it's, all, it's crazy. So so we see that uh, Mercenary Tower takes on, like starts to take the role as like the next little uh, antagonist from the Red River Army getting at the Z Fighters, right? So we see that he ends up even running, he ends up losing because he ends up getting this hell bit rage on you know, being up under the crane school and, you know, when he lost to Goku the first time, he almost died, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, they fought They fought like three times. First time he beat Goku, he thought he killed Goku. Second time he came back, Goku beat him almost to death. And then the next time, he actually didn't fight Goku, he fought Tien. He came back as a high boy, right? But we see that all his goons is losing against, this, uh, you know, against Goku every time we send him out, so... We see that uh, Goku ends up, you know, putting up this plan. Him and Master Roshi, they're trying to go take down the Red Ribbon Army. So now the rest of his friends as well. So um, while Goku is like literally taking out, coming through and taking them out, we see that Red is like, he got this kind of attitude towards what's going on in the situation. Like he really don't care. Like he can care less of how many people died and and then, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's kind of like, we, we, you know, it's kind of like in anticipation of what's the reason or why he's trying to get these Dragon Balls, because we don't really know. So we found out that uh, when he's, he's, he's like in his room with Black, you know what I'm saying? Um, his uh, his right hand man, right? We see that he tells Black that uh, he wants to get the Dragon Balls to wish himself taller. Like, wish himself taller as a mountain. So basically, it's just some selfish reason. He don't care what happens to anybody. So, uh, and he kind of he didn't care what happened to Black as well. And Black notices this, and what Black does is shoots him point blank down, like right then and there. You know what I'm saying? And then he actually uh, takes over the Red Ribbon Army and names it the Black Ribbon Army. And um, until he like basically, you know, by the time Goku got to him, I think he got taken out in a helicopter and stuff, right? So. After that, we we hear that you know the red you know that 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 red ribbon is basically you know what I'm saying well from Roshi that they've been forgotten about for years or whatever but we kind of you know saying here about uh, uh, Jeros maybe surviving or whatever the case might be so we step into Dragon Ball Z right 
even back then, before we even go back to Dragon Ball Z, uh, we go, to, we step into Dragon Ball Z. We see that even back then, uh, they was creating androids, and we had the Android Eight, which was Aider, who was actually uh, made to defeat Goku, but he didn't want to do that, and um, he actually ended up becoming an alliance, and you know, kind of teaming up with Goku to help him uh, take down partially the Red Ribbon Army, right? So we see once we go into uh, Dragon Ball Z um, that he creates uh, that Dr. Jiro lives, and um, he basically creates the 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 androids that we know today as Android 16, uh, 9, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And him himself, he actually re recreated himself into. This artificial, like, the only thing that's, that's still human on him is his brain. So everything else is cybernetic. But he actually recreates himself so he can be immortal, right? And we know what goes on with that. If you wanted to know any um, more details about that, please check out our Evolution Through uh, of, of the Androids uh, video. That would be, you should see it on, our, on the screen. You know, without further ado, we're going to step into the next uh, time that we actually get to see the Red River Army uh, in itself. And we see them, we see them take on our Z fighters in the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. Now, in the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, we see that uh, they, they reference that after the defeat of Sail, that the Red River Army has been in hiding up under the name Red Pharmaceuticals. So we dive into this Red Pharmaceutical company. We see that this person named Mageta, Mingeta, um, with, uh, you know, that's, that, that that's basically is the son of Commander Red, right? We see that he's trying to orchestra orchestrate something. So he ends up getting this, uh, this, this well, he has a chauffeur named Carmine, right? And um, he, has, he has a Johnny Bravo hat, right? And we see that uh, they're trying to find uh, Dr. Jerome's son because they're trying to find, they, they basically, they've been losing against Cap Capture Court, right? Through like, just not even just, just, uh, just getting their ass beat, right? It's been times where even whatever, like it comes to the capsules, who provides the world certain kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like product and stuff like that. Capture Court just been winning. So he really don't like Capsule Court. So we see that he gets Dr. Hito to, he finds Dr. Hito. Dr. Hito is later had just broken out of jail and out of prison. And we see that he picks him up and he kind of like finesses him. And I'm just kind of like, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of awkward. But uh, later on when, when, they, when, when, they, when they describe Dr. Hito's character, but we'll just say for right now, he's this like, uh, Know, like this uh almost innocent type of person that 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 is just uh is hearing what he's hearing from Magetta in his back seat and it's basically he's painting his pictures of Capsule Court as the bad guy and he needs his help to take down Capsule Court because Capsule Court is like ran by by super villains and people from a different planet and you know they, they basically had something to do with you know what was going on back then so so Dr. Hito agrees, and we see that he he ends up creating the androids we know as Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Now, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, they seem to be different from the rest of the androids that we've seen throughout Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, just for the simple fact that they not made from any old human uh, at all. Like, we see that even, um, like uh, 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 Android 16, he was even made from uh, you know a, a, a fallen soldier, right? But he was just made like completely artificial. But we see that these androids are completely artificial and made from nothing prior, right? So we see that uh, these Gamma Ones and Gamma Twos they have a different personality than the ones than the androids that we grew up with, and um. I mean, for the, with the androids from the Z Saga, we see that they are pretty much loyal and they are pretty much uh, just, you know, uh, able to reason. 
but still have a a a, 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 a robotic kind of uh, way of, of going about things, right? And we see that with Gavin too is um, projections when he fights and this is personality compared to Gamma 1. What we do know is that they bodies are literally made of something that can take the the damage in the in the in the in the endurance of super power key blasts essentially, right? They have like the uh they have the, the force fields the, and all that type of stuff, but they skin in itself and they have and they equip with uh ray guns that's literally from what Kira Toriyama has stated is powerful as a Kamehameha, right? A Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha. So they are very powerful. You know what I'm saying? They are very powerful. And we see that Dr. Hito is one of the people that is the person who created this. So this 23-year-old fella got together, well, by himself, really, and got to create these androids. And we see that once. Um, yeah, you know, they basically, you know, trying to get where domination is, uh, where Maganta is. And he's kind of planning to Dr. Hito. And what happens is the Piccolo helps end up ki uh, kidnapping Pan and uh, taking him, taking her to the Red Pharmaceutical Company and letting uh, letting Gohan know about it. Once he gets there, uh, they actually escort him there. Once he gets there, he sets it off and they get to fighting and they end up witnessing uh, Carmine actually shooting a gun at... Uh, at, at, at Pan. Now, before this, we can see that these androids are engaging, and we see that we see that uh, Piccolo is even uh, Pic Piccolo is even having a hard time. He actually has to go orange, Piccolo orange, to even compete against Gamma 2. Like, his unlocked potential for him wasn't enough, and we see that Gamma 1 was actually hanging with uh, Ultimate Gohan uh, I mean, and not really having too much of a, of a, of a, you know, of a, of a, you know, a resistance or nothing, nothing out of the, nothing that he couldn't handle, right? So we see that by the time they stop, we, 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 we see that they've been working on this other creature. Now, this other android happens to be Cell Max. Cell Max and this in Dragon Ball Super, and this this cell match, this cell match is way different from the cell that we know in the Dragon Ball Z. Now, cell in Dragon Ball Z, um, he was completely like he was he he was grown, he was grown, and he was almost he was overgrown. He he actually got himself out of the out of the actual uh, the um the growing chamber that he was in and actually grew into the person that we know and hatched itself out. This cell right here, he was actually hatched prematurely. So when we see this cell emerges, he's like almost, well, he's basically going berserk. And our Z fighters, basically, they barely beat him just by knowing their weak, his weak spot. And the reason why they knew that is because Dr. Hito is literally on their side at this point. So they're knowing the weak spot. And we know that after the fact that Piccolo references his power and the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 was like this, the, 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 the strength of Goku and Vegeta. And I'm assuming like base form. So that means that Cell Max, I think it was Kira Toyama that said that Cell Max is as strong as, well, would be stronger than Broly if he was perfected. So he didn't really have a mind, so he couldn't really, you know, utilize his power strategically. In return, and you know, and, and basically in return makes that makes him less powerful, right? Because you can't really do nothing if you if you uh, you can't be you can't be considered powerful if you don't know how to use your power, right? It's like a uh, Goku Black situation in a way. Ashley dies because Dr. Hito Ashley stings him with a, a, a wasp that he created, I think it was called uh, Shimaru, Shimaru or something like that, but yeah, this uh, basically like this little wasp and he literally you know, stings him one time and he's dead, so, and Carmine ends up, you know, getting arrested or whatever, and we see that, uh, you know, Dr. Hito actually goes to work with Capsule Corp Corporation. Now with 
Dr. Hito at Council Corporation, I, I don't see him being undermining Bulma or anything or trying to do anything for the Red Ribbon, but uh, just for the sake of this video, we're going to say that the Red Ribbon, I mean, we know that whenever a black died, right, we know that somewhere in between, uh, his son was still there. I mean, his son was born, right? Jero had, Jero had his grandson, and we see that Magenta was born. So, Magenta was plotting, somewhat plotting this, uh, this whole thing in between, in between uh, Dragon Ball Z and you know what I'm saying what we know is Dragon Ball Super. So, why they was plotting that, or at least we could say from Cell to Super. So, who's to say that somebody isn't in the works right now who's taking over Red Pharmaceutical? I mean, I can't say that. I, I can't really... Now that they... I mean, they, they, they had a whole establishment to the point where they had, like, a Wakanda kind of thing going on. So, now that it's been exposed, I don't know if it's... Like, I don't know if they even able to, like, like hide anymore, right? And um, I'm pretty sure their army is not as big as it used to be, but... I'm pr like they really can't hide anymore, you know what I'm saying? So this is the evolution of uh the red 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 ribbon, and um right now we don't know what's to come because we know that uh the, the continuity will be coming back. I mean we getting uh scans and and manga chapters from you know what's happening between uh the Renola art and the super superhero. But as more stuff drop, I definitely will be dropping more uh discussions and insight on what's been going on so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh definitely check out some of the other uh content on the channel we have anything from dope reels to um different um community posts where we engage in uh leveling our, our uh leveling our z fighters against each other and um we just like to have fun, man. So catch your vibe. This is Black Sand Channel. We out.